this is your destiny. Say, this is my destiny. Can you see that? Have I shown you this so far? The Holy Ghost is God Holy in Ghost the earth today. today. And you walk with him by saying words. The Father My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining Jesus us. Right. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. Ghost if this God isn't your first time today. here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Acts chapter 3, verse 21. Whom... Are we talking about here Jesus whom the heavens must receive other translations say retain say retain. retain the heavens must retain Jesus which means what he's still there mm -hmm. he's being retained mm -hmm. say Jesus is retained, Jesus retained. Is retained. must retain receive Jesus until the times of restitution of two things is that what it says two things no. no it says all things say all things. all things until the times of restoring of all things which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began so there are things that have been prophesied in this book that have to be fulfilled before Jesus can be released to come back right now he's being retained mm -hmm. are you here yes mm -hmm. so where's Jesus now in Jesus is in heaven and he's not coming back until we fulfill all the scriptures that have been prophesied mm -hmm. are there many of those yes. yeah there's a lot of those we're gonna look at some tonight there are many positions up for grabs mm -hmm. In these last days a lot of people are ignoring them a lot of people don't want to go there they like where they're at but this is the last days right Amen. and according to that verse of scripture all things are to be fulfilled and then Jesus returns then Jesus comes back now I'm gonna ask for some latitude tonight because there's going to be some things I'm going to say that you've not heard before but we're going somewhere we haven't arrived yet which means we have to go somewhere and we're going to travel there and return say travel there, travel there. and return. return and like I said there's many positions up for grabs and there's room at the front it's crowded at the back where everyone is but there's room at the front wide open space great latitude of Liberty Luke chapter 4 verse 18 says this is in red Jesus speaking the Spirit of the Lord is on me or literally the Spirit Lord is on me because he hath anointed me to what preach. to preach now preach what the gospel. the gospel and the gospel means the good news right yes. so the Spirit Lord came upon Jesus who's the Spirit Lord Holy it wasn't Jesus Jesus didn't come upon Jesus and call him to preach the Holy Ghost came on Jesus right the Spirit Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel now there are different levels of gospel and whatever level you receive you can go to we all know this there's the die and go to heaven version what do you get if you receive that you get to die and go to heaven am I against that no, no when you die you should go to heaven but here he says uh, he's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor what's the gospel to the poor he that he can be rich that he doesn't have to be poor anymore he can be delivered from poverty yes. 
say delivered from poverty, delivered from poverty. a lot of people reject that part of the gospel that level of gospel he goes on to say and preach to sent me to heal what about healing mm -hmm. is there healing in the gospel yes yes absolutely what about youth renewal yes. youth renewal in the gospel different levels of gospel that's that's what i'm trying to get at here right how about being filled with the holy ghost is that part of the gospel yes. with the evidence of speaking in other tongues yes and unfortunately some people would put that at the very pinnacle of gospel preaching is if someone could receive the Holy Ghost and begin speaking with other tongues when really that's not the end that's just the beginning of you speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost can you see how these are levels of gospel 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17 now say now, now. when's now? now now the Lord is that spirit and we're not talking about Jesus remember where's Jesus seated at the right hand of the Father right he's not returned yet now in the earth the Lord is that spirit the Holy Ghost and where the Spirit of the Lord is there is freedom or liberty verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a mirror the glory of this Lord the Holy Ghost are what changed say changed changed, changed from what from one glory to another glory even as by the Spirit Lord now this word changed here is the Greek word we get uh, the Greek word is metamorphosis Have you ever heard of that you are changed from one thing to another you're changed from one glory to a completely different glory to a completely different glory mm -hmm. from glory to glory to glory mm -hmm. until you are actually in glory mm -hmm. stay up with me because this gets important as we go on here this word changed or transformed or the Greek word metamorphosis mm -hmm. you know with the caterpillar and, and the butterfly now I am not denying the greatness and importance of all those other levels of gospel but I am preaching something greater tonight if you can hear it and I will issue a warning it is not for everyone Isaiah chapter 7 verse 9 if you will not believe surely you shall not be established so you have to believe it in order to be established in it it would be the same with all of those other levels of gospel that I've talked about and it's this listen it's the same when you go to the next level of glory you have to believe and if you don't believe you won't be established in it you don't have to believe does this say you have to believe no. you don't have to believe but you won't be established in it no. that's my point first Corinthians 15 11 says so we preach and so you believe and through your belief you can be established in something that you weren't established in before mm -hmm. Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service now what God are you presenting your body to holy the Holy Ghost he's the only God in the earth today you're presenting your body to him right and this says which is your reasonable service another translation says spiritual worship mm -hmm. you're presenting yourself to God the Holy Ghost and that's your spiritual worship verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed same word same word we read before where we're changed from glory to glory here he says I beseech you be ye transformed I beseech you be ye changed from one glory to the next glory 
and then he goes on to say be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of god the holy ghost being transformed say being transformed. being transformed that's how you prove it and again it's the same greek greek word metamorph means changed and you can see there's levels of belief here there's levels of being changed good acceptable and perfect now the things i'm going to say tonight <laughs> may push at the boundaries of your belief as far as you've believed so far is that okay mm -hmm. i hope i'm establishing this enough so you can see it we're supposed to go farther if you're at good you should go to acceptable and then to perfect and you have to be transformed changed metamorphosized to go there and some will bear witness and say that's for me others not so much but i'm not really concerned about them I suspect that 10,000 people will go here where I'm talking about tonight mark chapter 9 verse 1 and this is Jesus verily I say unto you that there be some of them that stand here which shall not taste of death till they have seen the kingdom of God come with power what does taste of death mean to die so there's some people that are not dead here that will see the kingdom of God come with power mm -hmm. right yeah. okay well, let's read on here and he and uh, verse 2 and after six days Jesus takes with him Peter and James and John and leads them up into a high mountain apart by themselves and he was transfigured before them say transfigured. transfigured what do you suppose that word means mm -hmm. it's the same exact word that we've just read two other in two other verses it says you're supposed to be changed from glory to glory you're supposed to be changed by worshiping god from good to acceptable to perfect right, right. here says jesus was transfigured changed before them verse 3 and his raiment became shining exceeding white as snow as no fuller on earth can white them verse 4 and there appeared unto them elijah and moses and they were talking with jesus do you suppose they saw the kingdom of god mm -hmm. this was what they were seeing luke 9 29 said the fashion of his countenance changed he was fashioned into something that he wasn't before changed transformed and this said that peter james and john were able to see this without dying did jesus see this without dying he was changed he didn't say he died and went to heaven he said he he was transformed into someone who could literally stand there and talk with elijah and moses in the kingdom of god not dying but going here say not dying, not dying. but going here. going here it was a transformation it was a change and it will look an awful lot like that can you see how it would look an awful lot like that mm -hmm. and we see peter speaking about this experience later on after the fact second peter chapter 1 and verse 16 for we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we were made known unto you the power and coming of the lord jesus christ but were eye witnesses of his majesty they witnessed this with their own eyes mm -hmm. verse 17 for he received from god the father honor and glory say honor and glory, honor and glory. would that include glory yes honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased 
and this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount that's talking about that exact instance mm -hmm. so here we see Jesus receiving glory when he heard this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased I am well pleased say I am well pleased, I am well pleased. mark these words I am well pleased so here we had Jesus on the Holy Mount transformed heard the words well pleased say transformed, transformed. heard the words, heard the words. Well, pleased. well pleased are you here yes. not making it up so who else comes to mind someone that was transformed and heard the words well pleased they go together <laughs> Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 5 by faith Enoch say Enoch. Enoch Enoch was translated that he should not see death translated what do you suppose that word is it's the same word that we've read three times so far Enoch was changed Enoch was transformed into something else that he should not see death so this transformation is something that you that happens to you without dying are you here yeah. did he die no. Enoch died and went to heaven is that what it said no. no he was translated so that he could see and Jesus said there'd be some who would see without tasting death the kingdom of God are you here mm -hmm verse 5 by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him for before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God mm -hmm. same thing happened to Jesus same thing you're called to do I beseech you brethren be transformed good acceptable perfect be changed from glory to glory and the same words well pleased were spoken you must have this same testimony glory to glory requires it this is your destiny say this, this. Is, my is my destiny can you see that have I shown you this so far is your destiny to be changed from glory to glory yes, yes same word is your destiny to go from good to acceptable to perfect yeah. mm -hmm. where would perfect be that would be in the kingdom of God right in the kingdom of light mm -hmm. do you have to die to go there sure you do go there when you die but you don't have to we're not called to do that where did it say go from good to acceptable to dead no. you go from glory to dead that's the low-level gospel this is your destiny glory to glory and here we see Enoch right Genesis chapter 5 verse 22 and Enoch what with God Enoch walked with God what are you supposed to do walk with God we walk with God Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300 years so Enoch walked with God for 300 years mm -hmm. do you suppose he got good at it yes. he got so good at it that God was pleased with him and he was not for God took him read on here and verse 24 and Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him the other verse says he was translated he was changed did it say he died no. he did not die he was translated same word we've been talking about now this if you were just to look at it you would almost assume that it was just this one time experience that Enoch was walking with God and just boop all of a sudden he wasn't anymore but if you look at the writings of Enoch you can see that he was he was going in the spirit and coming out of the spirit he went into the spirit came out of the spirit 
he went into the spirit and came out of the spirit he went into the spirit and never came out of the spirit he stayed there it wasn't just a one-time experience over this 300 years that he walked with God who is a spirit so Enoch went up and came back Enoch was caught away and returned over and over up and back up and back up and where is he now he's still up he hasn't come back are you here yeah say Enoch went up Enoch went and up. didn't come back this is not that difficult do I need to pull out a chart so if he didn't come back he's still there did he die no he was transformed he was translated he was changed from one glory to another he did walk with God in a certain amount of glory and then was translated translated into another form of glory are you here yeah. Enoch's life he was a prophet but Enoch's life was a prophecy meaning Enoch's life was a prophecy of the church in the last days we are in the last day church so Enoch's life was a prophecy a type of the last day church and you've heard this of me I've preached on this many times we as the last day church are to walk with God worshiping him and serving him as God in the earth today speaking in agreement with him words that please him and be transformed and changed from one glory to another glory to another glory until we go into the other glory Enoch's life prophesied about you just like Enoch we go into the spirit and come out we go into the spirit and come out we go into the spirit and come out and then one time we'll go into the spirit and not come out but Enoch also prophesied something else now can you give me that so far that Enoch's life prophesied of the last day church God speaks of the end from the beginning mm -hmm. Enoch was at the beginning he prophesied about the end Enoch prophesied with his life but he also prophesied something else something very specific a 10,000 man return say a 10,000 10, man, man return Jude chapter 1 verse 14 and Enoch also the seventh from Adam prophesied of these saying behold the Lord comes with ten thousands of his Saints Enoch's life is a prophecy and he says behold the Lord comes with ten thousand of his Saints he didn't say ten thousand of his angels did he no. so these had to be Saints like Enoch that were gonna come back mm. say they were gonna come back 10,000 saints not angels participate in this Lord's return are you here you yeah. still up with me mm -hmm. I present to you Enoch's life was a prophecy and it wasn't over yet because this is part of the prophecy one of the people that will come back in that 10,000 is Enoch himself obviously Jesus is the number one coming back but he would be one person in that returning army that would be Enoch and it would be a fulfillment of this prophecy Enoch's life fulfilled the first prophecy by him going up and the second part of the prophecy will be him coming back receive it or not doesn't bother me either way but so will all the others be returns listen the others who return with Enoch will be returning 
are you here we already saw that they were men but they will be men listen they will be men who've gone up the same way enoch went and return the same way enoch returns with the lord are you here yes. what are we called to do die and go to heaven so weak so sad we're called to be like enoch we are the last day church we are called like enoch we are the last day church we go from glory to glory and step over into glory that's it not according to this there will be returns say i'm a return i'm a return brother i didn't thought it could get any better than it was before using the words i worship you holy ghost being a holy ghost worshiper gets you here from glory to glory to glory am i right yes. then you're transformed from one glory to another glory and then there's a return what does he say he returns Are we still in jude look at to execute verse verse 15 let's read verse 14 again and enoch also the seventh from adam prophesied of these things behold the lord comes with ten thousands of his saints remember is enoch a prophecy his life of the last day church yes and it says behold the lord comes with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him and it's only going to take 10,000 of these returns <laughs> these returns to get the job done yes. is this great are you glad you came I hope so I am people give lip service to how far they are willing to go all the way they say all the way I want to go all the way until of course you mention or say something that they don't particularly like or agree with and they go all the way home <laughs> like the little piggy but we are called to transformation from glory to glory even as by the Spirit Lord presumably to step over and not come back are you here mm -hmm. this would fall in line with a lot of people's definition of the rapture you've heard of this right people believe in that yeah we'll just go along we'll be our own our own cruddy little selves and then one day God will snap his fingers and we'll all start floating up people believe that they want to give me a hard time with this but we're called scripturally to be changed transformed from one glory to another glory which does not include death and like Enoch be translated I'm just presenting to you that 10,000 of these people that are translated in that capacity listen will be returns that will come back with the Lord Jesus why have I never heard this before because it's the end time and these things have not been revealed yet they're being revealed to you in these last days and like Enoch was a prophecy of the last day church he went over and came back he went over and came back he went over and came back he went over and disappeared appeared for thousands of years but then when it's time for Jesus to return comes back he didn't cease by doing that he didn't cease to be a prophecy of the end time church that it's not for his generation but one a remote one far off we are that generation an Enochian exit and subsequent return are you here like I said many positions are up for grabs Jesus will be returning with 10,000 losers I don't think so 
10,000 people who have fulfilled remember he's not coming back he is not coming back until we fulfill all of those prophecies one of which was Enoch's prophecy you are the fulfillment of that if you choose to be many positions are up for grabs because Jesus is returning with ten thousands of his Saints there is a fake Jesus in the earth today the real one is returning I'm going to go get him and return that's the Enochian exit that's the Enochian prophecy and we are called to fulfill it Amen. Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people that they've heard these words that something has changed on the inside of them that releases them from those things that held them back and causes them to go forward higher and higher with me says the Spirit Lord until that one day you are completely transformed and changed and you will see and you will know the great things that await for you with the Lord Jesus Christ even in the earth in Jesus name Amen, amen. if you have a tithe hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost Holy I worship Ghost you I thank you today. that I'm being transformed my finances are being transformed from one level of glory to another level of glory and to a great level of glory I worship you in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God